Oh my goodness. That took a lot. Yeah, I'm almost to 99 on Barrett too. The rest of my party, not so much. They're like in the 80s, the high 80s. They might be level 90 by now though, but even still, yeah, they're not maxed out and I'm not planning to max them out. Oh, okay. The super bosses are finally done. It's finally time. Finally time. So now we can go here to Calm and talk to the Calm Traveler. That's true, I should save. You're right. I guess so. Just to make sure nothing goes wrong. So now we go to the calm traveler, we give her the we give him the earth harp and the desert rose. And he gives us Let's see, what do we get? Oh, it's the earth harp. Wanna trade it for some master materia? I'm not being stingy either, I'll give you all three of them. How about it? Now where did this guy get three mastered materia? Three master materia? Uh, who knows? Maybe he was an adventurer back in the day, I guess. He must have been pretty good if he has three master materia. So this was not in the Japanese version. In the original Japanese version, uh, the super bosses don't exist. You can't fight the super bosses, and this isn't here either. Yeah, he's an old cloud. Sid is a slightly older cloud, and this man is like Grandpa Cloud. <laughs> but we're not done yet. Oh, it's Desert Rose. Want to trade it for that chocobo over there? He gives us a gold chocobo. Or that is somehow in his house. It's a chocobo. Take it. It's yours. So he gives us a golden chocobo. So if you're, you know, if you're struggling with doing the breeding thing, you can just beat Ruby Weapon. You know, beat Ruby Weapon without Knights of the Round or <laughs> Quadra Magic or anything. And if you can pull that off then he'll give you the gold chocobo for it. I sincerely thought, on my blind playthrough, I sincerely thought that this was the only way I was going to get a gold chocobo. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. I didn't know what was involved. Guess it's time to go on a journey for the souls of my departed friends. With what? Again, he's giving us all this stuff before he goes on a journey. So, that begs the question, does he have, like, extra copies? Like, does he have multiple golden chocobos? Does he have extra copies of Master Materia? Like, what? Looks like my stable's full. I will have to come back when I have room. So can I just come back? Anytime? Yeah, maybe it's his last trip. I don't know. Yeah, I can just come back here. My stable is full. 
because I filled it with all the chocobos I needed for my own breeding to get my own gold chocobo, but I guess... I guess that one will just stay there like it's a free stable, I guess? Until I empty out my stable some more, but why would I... Yeah, but I don't need to. Yeah, I, I don't actually have any need to do that, though, because I already have a gold chocobo. Okay, this is it. Time, yeah, time to say hi to Sefi. Time to say hi and then say bye. I'm not going to bother to demonstrate uh, source farming. It's not that hard to do. Basically, if you know the W item glitch, you know that if you select one item, select a target, then select another item, and then press... Uh, your cancel button to go back. It will then put back a ca it'll it'll put back both items even though you only canceled once. So that's how the W item glitch works. It's incredibly simple. Basically, in order to do that with sources, you use up all your sources and then you organize your menu in such a way as that uh, there's an empty slot like you use up and you you have an item like a grenade or something that's like a one of you use it as your first item while a source is being put into your inventory from like conformer or something so you kind of have to menu really quick but like you take the grenade out and then the conformer puts the source in there then you select another item and then you cancel to go back and it clones the source as because the source is sitting in the same item slot that was previously occupied by the grenade that you used. So it puts back sources. It, it's because you can't select sources in battle. But you can, but you can, but because the source is put into the item slot that is now empty because you selected the only grenade and took it out of there it then thinks that you're so, that you somehow selected the source and so it puts back more sources that you shouldn't have you can actually clone sources that way also before i forget and if you and if you don't want to do that you could just keep cloning sources with conformer like i said go to the gelnika underwater and basically every enemy in there turns into a source when you hit them with conformer. You can morph them all into uh, sources. So you can technically get infinite of every source and power up your characters to 255 in every stat. Or you could just not go through the grind and get a save file editor. That would be tons easier. Uh, I'm not going to bother to show off source farming. There's really no reason to. Just having described it is enough. It's lengthy. That's all there is to it. It's it's very lengthy. You just use conformer with morph, hit the morph command, and morph the enemies into sources. And that's it. Uh, we don't... I mean, I guess we could use the same combo on, Se on Sephiroth, but honestly, I don't want to use the same combo on Sephiroth, if you want me to be real. Um, Sephiroth is much, much easier to kill. So, for Sephiroth, I think we're gonna go with a... Yeah, I was about to say, why... Well, for time's sake. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, like... Why use a save file editor when the game just gives you glitches to break the game anyway? Well, for time's sake. Just to save time. And that's literally all. Um, just at this point, why not? Really. Uh, let's go ahead and remove all of this. Uh, Tifa can keep her setup for the most part. Yeah, these two added effects go really well together. Uh, 
Uh, Contain is largely useless, to be honest with you. Like, you could use it on Ruby or on, like, the super bosses, I guess, but Contain is actually largely useless. Because it's all single target. So, like, you would never use it in a normal fight because there'd be multiple enemies. So it's definitely a weapon meant to be used against bosses. The Contain Materia, that is. Like, why would you ever use it against something that's not a boss? Uh, let me just arrange some stuff for my sanity, perhaps. Hold on. So, what are we going to do with Cloud? Um... First, we're going to arrange. I mean, we could just... Yeah, you know what? I've got all these, all this master materia. I can't... I guess I could have this for whatever it's worth. Hmm. Even though that's not really the best way to deal with it. Honestly, the best way to play this is to just double cut everything. Just have everybody loaded up with stuff and everybody loaded up with four attacks every turn. Honestly, I think something similar to our, uh... To our loadout for... For the battle... For the battle arena might actually work just fine. I mean, pretty much, double cut, W item, you gotta have HP up, for sure. But I mean, we might as well just buff everything, is what, we might as well just do this. Sure, we'll be faster, we'll have better luck. Uh, I'm gonna put enemy away on here so that we can get through this area faster. I'm literally just deciding what I want to actually use against Sephiroth at this point. I'm deliberately not going to use Knights of the Round or any other summon, mainly because I don't really want to see it anymore. Um, but we totally could. We could use Master Summon here if we wanted. Just have Master Summon on. I think if this is going to be the case, maybe we will just do full counterattack. Why not? There's basically nothing else to put on here that matters. I mean, I guess I could put enemy skill on him, sure. Mime and enemy skill. But what would I mime? 4x, 4x cut that I'm gonna use anyway? Actually, hold on. I know what I can do here. It's nice to have this. There we go. And we'll put uh, enemy skill on and replace him in replacement for that later. There we go. Perfect. Well, more or less. change some stuff around for my sanity, like I said. Everybody should have double cut W item. That's pretty much required. Uh, mime is not really necessary for anything. I would prefer, again, not to cast any magic. Uh, speed and luck plus. Sure, why not? Um, we're gonna kill. We're gonna kill Sephiroth way too fast for added effect Odin to ever be needed. I'll leave Hades on there just because I can. We've got all of that. Um, yeah, let's put those. Let's take those off. Let's take these two off. Eh, 
again, let's move some stuff around just for my sanity here. This could take a second. Speed and luck, and there's HP. We don't need the mime command. What else do we need? What do I want? Really, anything will do. Is there anything I actually want to have? We don't even need Magic Plus unless we're going to cast Magic, but we're not going to do that. So what's the point? I'm just going to beat him with straight-up physical attacks if I can. You know? Maybe some counterattacks, actually. Or do I want Barret to do that? That actually might be fun, now that I think about it. HP plus... Four counterattacks. What else does Barrett even need? Maybe Knights of the Round just to have something to upgrade him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got a plan. There we go. I have a plan. I got it. I know what we're doing. I could put cover on him. I wonder if that's really going to be necessary. Nah, I don't think so. I could give him cover, but it'd probably be better to give him Knights of the Round. Not because I'm going to use it, but because it gives him uh, 500,000 AP thus making his weapon deal loads of damage. There we go. Go ahead, Sefi. Attack Barret if you dare. Um, we'll give the other enemy skill to her, I guess. Why not? skill. Hello. Just give Barrett a couple of all materials. No, all materials don't have enough AP. All materials actually don't have very much. Yeah, all materials have very little. And honestly, I don't even need all materials. What would I use them for? Um... Maybe I will have added effect Odin on there, just because I don't need anything else. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I really don't think I need anything else, so I guess I'm just gonna do that then. I literally can't think of anything better to put in its place. So, yeah, I guess this will be our final setup here. Ultima Weapon Zydrich. Again, I could put on a Mistle, but why? I don't need more Materia than I have. Ribbon. Uh, Mistle for her, because she needs Hades to protect her from status. Uh, Curse Ring. Power Soul Cur Curse Ring, of course. Uh, Zydrich. Ribbon. Missing Score. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's that. All right, down we go. Thanks to enemy away, we shouldn't get too many encounters on the way down. All we gotta do is beat Sephiroth and watch the ending cutscene. Sadly, I think that's gonna take all of our time. I don't think I'm gonna have time for Age of Calamity.
it sells for a lot. Yeah, it just sells for a lot, but it actually doesn't have very much in the way of AP. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll go, if I can get it done, if I can get this done in the next few minutes, maybe. We'll see. Depends on how long it takes. Depends on how long it takes. I feel like Sephiroth is going to drop pretty fast. Yeah, the rigged slots didn't help. You're right, Time Tree. Those unbelievably rigged slots were not helpful. However, the main thing was just Ruby wouldn't die. Ruby Weapon apparently has had way more HP than I thought he had because he took seven Hades Knights to the Round combos to the face and still lived. It's absurdly tanky. There's not that much left for me to do in the DLC for Age of Calamity anyway. I might I might actually load it up and stream a little late tonight. Again, I guess. <laughs> I, that seems to be a thing lately. Because I streamed late last time too. I don't like streaming too late over and over again, but I might have to in this case. Because I already went through most of it last time. And I've I farmed up the materials on the side, so I'll be able to... Uh... Yeah, I should be able to break through pretty quickly and easily at this point. Oh. An encounter. Oh, just let me go. Why? Just let me go. There we go. I'm pretty much ready to, you know, finish off the DLC, barring, you know, grinding out super high tier weapons. I even upgraded my Master Sword. It's not level 50 yet, but it's, uh,. It's getting, it's up to level 44, it's almost level 45, so. But the main thing, but completing the DLC, you know, quote unquote 100% for the DLC is really just unlocking the new character and completing the, uh, the ancient tech lab tree. And I'm pretty close to doing that already. So maybe, maybe I could just finish it tonight. Oh, just kill it. Yeah. But Time Tree... Yeah, it's like, you know, keep in mind, I also did about four, hour, four or five hours of farming and grinding outside of the four or five hours I was playing it on Saturday. So I, you know, I pushed forward on Saturday, but I did a lot of grinding between now and then, so I should be able to push through a lot more. Uh, much faster... Or at least it will look like it's faster. Because you won't see everything that happened on stream. Okay. Um, where is my... Where are my tents? Can I not use tents? Hello? Oh, there they are. But apparently I can't use them here. Why can't I use them here? I'm at a save point. Let's organize this thing. No, I did You can't even do that. Hold on. Uh, type battle. Am I not standing in it? Oh, yeah. Maybe I accident. Yeah. Maybe I somehow accidentally walked out of it. 
Oh, hi, Ricky. How's it going? You're just in time for the end of 100%. Because I've already, I've already, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've already, yeah, I'm not streaming. I'm not streaming Emerald and Ruby again. Yeah, losing to Emerald the first time also cost me a lot of time, but we beat it on the second try. But yeah, I've just, I beat Ruby and Emerald Weapon. You, you missed it, Ricky. Emerald killed me the first time, but then we killed it on the second try. And then Ruby Weapon just took forever to die. Let's get going. We're ready to go. All right, ev <laughs> All right everyone, let's mosey. Again? Stop saying it like a wimp. Can't you say move out or something? Why did Cloud say it that way? Move out. I know what you mean, Ricky. I hear you. What? Look at the number. They're coming out in full force. Cloud, you go first. Okay, I'm going alone. Shut up. It won't, won't do us no good with, with everyone back here. Barrett's right. You take, take two of us with you and go first. The rest will catch up later. Is this like a practice run before the final battle? Yeah, a major practice run. I'm fine with that. It's probably more fun than meeting Sephiroth down there. Hmm, this might be fun to pass time. They're coming. They're already on the floor next to us. Cloud, hurry up and make up your mind. Say we're sticking with the team we have. All of you. Later. Couldn't say good luck. <laughs> yep, later. Well, Ricky, if you've never seen uh, the weapons beat, then uh, by all means, you can watch the VOD after this. Oh wow, it missed. Perfect. It was, uh, it was an experience. It was an experience, let me tell you that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Thank you, BB Man. I almost forgot. Who needs enemy away? Might as well have my other enemy skill on. I love how earlier, you know, I love how early on in the playthrough, you're just like, oh, wow, yeah, these enemy skills, like beta and stuff, it's so great. And big guard's awesome. And it helps you get through so much. And now it's like, uh, I guess I might as well equip enemy skill. It's nothing that useful. <laughs> but yeah, um, now, I mean, it used to be that Tifa was a one-woman wrecking crew. Now we're all wrecking crews. Like, Cloud and Barrett have finally caught up. We actually do pretty insane damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Go Tifa. Tifa used fist. It's super effective indeed. That is quite true. I was about to say, this is some awesome music, by the way. 
Like, the music getting down here was awesome enough. Wow, this is a lot of encounters on the way down. But now, this is really good. Uh, maybe Stranger Things got it from this game. I don't know. I've never seen that, so... Oh, it's gonna sound glorious in Remake. I can already tell you that. Barrett aiming for max level. Where are we? What? Genova. It's coming. I have not played Remake yet. No, I don't have a PS4 or 5. I guess we just attack. Why, why not? Let's just hit it. Hit it over and over. I have not hit, had the opportunity, no. Hey, look, it's dead already. But don't you worry, Duck Game. I am definitely going to get around to playing Remake on stream at some point. I don't know when exactly, but I will at some point. Might have to throw out a language warning for it, but Final Fantasy VII Remake is worth an exception. So, Genova died absurdly easy. And I'll bet you Sephiroth will, too. This, is this... Is this light holy? I mean, I thought it was the tiny little gem, green gem thing. <laughs> Ow. Sid. So we're all here? Ugh. Sephiroth! Ugh, is this Sephiroth's power? My, my body. I can't control my body. My front legs. My, uh, my hind legs. My tail's about to rip off. This is definitely not good. He's way out of our league. I mean, yeah, he's using Psychic on us, I guess. I have no idea what's happening. Trust me. Nobody knows why <laughs> why this is happening. Yeah, it's just it's just psychic, I guess. He's just using telekinesis. Also, why is Oh shoot. Yeah, why is Vincent just fine? Look at Vincent. Vincent's not struggling at all. He's just fine. He's like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> Vincent's just chill. I, I don't know if I can go on. Cloud. Cloud. Ugh. Ugh. There. It's there. Cloud? Holy. Holy is there. Holy materia is shining. Aerith's prayer is shining. Yeah, this is all in their minds, I guess. I guess this is what Lego people dream of. Aerith's prayer is shining. Holy Aerith. 
It's not over yet. This isn't the end. I mean, yes it is. We're about to put an end to Sephiroth. Apparently we just have to muster up enough willpower. And enough Mega Elixirs. And then we can overcome his psychic domination. <laughs> A second team? Uh, uh, Vince. Yuffie. Sid. Please make a party of two? Into three groups? Oh. Why am I splitting into three groups? That doesn't make sense. Whatever. I'm only gonna use one. Let's go, everyone. I was frozen in time, but now I feel as though my time is finally beginning. <laughs> Oh, now suddenly they've worked up their courage and can now uh, can now overcome Sephiroth, who had them, who had them completely dominated a moment ago. Sure, Sephiroth. Now it's your time to sleep for the ages. Through sheer willpower, we will overcome. I'm going to see it through to the end, for our future and for the planet. I understand now, Grandpa. This is my mission. I won't let the life stream or the planet wither away. Aerith's memories, our memories. We came to tell you our memories. Come, planet, show us your answer. And Sephiroth, to the settling of everything. Okay. Oh look, we're at a different angle from when I from my from my first time. Okay. I was about to say, even more awesome music. Sadly, this is random target. I can't control where where double cut strikes. Hmm. Not that it should matter too much. Yeah, I was about to say, this game is... The, the music does just keep getting better. You're right. You're right, Ricky. It just keeps getting better. Demi three. Good thing Zydrich has that. Starting to sound like Kingdom Hearts here. Worried about the other members? Not really. I'll be honest, though, I never liked the first part of, uh, of the Angel Choir thing. I never liked the first part of it. Sephiroth's theme gets a lot better when it actually comes in, when the actual melody comes in. Random hype choruses don't impress me anymore. Because everybody tries to do them. I was about to say, this is just straight up, this is good. There's no hype, it's just straight up into the melody, and that's, that's what makes it nice. This is good stuff. If this doesn't kill him, I might as well heal, just in case. 
Oh, no, I think he's dead. Easy. Now. <laughs> yeah, he's either dead or drunk. <laughs> the way he was kind of listering to the side there, yeah. Well, well said. Now here we go. See, like this part right here. I actually don't like this part of the final theme. This, the first part. It gets a lot better later. Assuming we hear it. I wonder if we'll actually get to that part. He might be dead before then. Here. Just to make sure we don't kill him too fast. Here, have two. Yeah, I know. It's like the intro part of the music. I don't like how long it is. Like, this is just such a long intro piece. If that's what it is. Because there's no melody here. It's just a bunch of hype. That's all it is. It's just, let's sound drums. Let's, you know, have the... Here it is. This is the good part. Because the choir actually creates a melody here. Will he even get a chance to use his... Oh, yeah. No, here it is. I was about to say. Unless we killed him. No way. He didn't even get a chance to use his... His supernova thing? Oh my gosh. He didn't even get a chance to use Supernova. He just died. I guess... <laughs> so I guess that one's for Tifa's parents. Because Tifa was the one to deliver the final blow, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was Tifa. So, yeah. I wish I had a limit break there. That way Tifa could suplex him. That would have been the best way to end with a suplex. It's like you, know, you can shatter planets, but can you su but can you suplex? <laughs> yeah, suplex the train. <laughs> Wrong game. That's that's the previous game. That's, oh yeah, that's right. Get ready to use Omni Slash. That's right. This is all we could do. Wait, what about Holy? What's gonna happen to the planet? That, I don't know. Isn't the rest up to the planet? You're right. We've done all we could. All right, everyone. We did our best. That's it. Let's go home proud. One last thing to do. What happened? I feel it. What? He's... He's still here. Still... Cloud? 
He's laughing. Cloud? I love how Cloud has become Meteor. And now we are traveling through the Stargate. Through a wormhole. Is this the inside of Cloud's mind? Rather roomy, ain't it? Well, empty except for one thing. <laughs> I love how I love how Cloud's eyelids just sort of drop there. And he's just like, I'm bored. <laughs> it's like, oh, Sephiroth again. Mash the button. Limit. Omni slash. Go. Yes, the proper ending. The only way to end this. Goodbye, Sephiroth. Goodbye until remake. You might be inevitable, but so am I. So is this ending. Speaking of endings, now we get to watch the 10 minute long ending. I'll probably switch over to Age of Calamity for like 15 minutes, just long enough to unlock some more stuff. It'll just be like a little high sort of, ed like a little quick add-on. But yeah, I don't have time for a whole lot. But first, the cutscene. You out of here, BB man? Color colors weave into a spiral flame. Wait, wrong game. Have a good night, BB man. Thank you so much for coming. It's been great having you, man. I'll see you on Friday for Let's Go Eevee. Uh, I think I'm beginning to understand. What? An answer from the planet. The promised land. I'm gonna just casually pick myself and my girl up with one arm and just lift us up. I think I can meet her there. Yeah, let's go meet her. Cloud's super strong. Hey, where is everyone? Probably wondering why you haven't caught up yet. Hey, I'm glad you're all safe. They all seem to be safe too. I don't know why I'm pressing A here like these are text boxes. But now what are we gonna do? Holy, should be moving soon. And then me, that means this place will... Oh, Lady Luck, don't fail me now. I love how he just drops his cigar there. Wow, this music almost sounds like it came straight out of Super Mario RPG there.
Yeah, I was, I was about to say one-handed lift yourself and your girl. Just just with one hand pick yourself up over the cliff. No problem. It's like, yeah, right. Who does that? <laughs> that is not a thing. And then the high wind starts breaking apart. Our new rocket ship destroyed. It's a good thing half the ship was in the skate pod the whole time. Like, how big is that? That that ship that we're riding on right there. That's almost like half... Isn't that just like the entire front section? Good thing that didn't get damaged or ripped apart. Conveniently. It's like this... And this is after we already jettisoned the the propellers and things for rocket engines. And I'm just like, how many more transformations does the high wind do? There's so many transformations. It's like a transformer all on its own. All the upper plates get destroyed. And in comes Holy. But it's not enough. The moon is still falling. Quick, we need the giants. Quickly, Link, play the song of time. Find the giants. Yeah, that's a good chunk of the forward section there. Wait a minute. What's going to happen to Midgar? We can't let that happen. I had everyone take refuge in the slums. But the way things are now... No, I agree with you. For 1997, this is crazy. It's too late for Holy. Meteor is approaching the planet. Finally. Holy is having the opposite effect. How would you know it's having the opposite effect? Forget Midgar. We gotta worry about the planet. What's that? The live stream. Instead of colors weaving into a spire of fate, it's more like just one color. Live stream. So, of course, it's not enough to have teamwork. We have to have teamwork with the whole planet. Everybody, give me your energy for the spirit bomb! Okay, so it's not quite the same, but you get the idea. If you're wondering why I'm still talking, it's because I have to or YouTube will hit me with a copyright thing. Just in case anybody was wondering about that. A 
Pokemon reference? What? Why does Meteor suddenly seem far bigger? Yeah, Spirit Bomb is DBZ. Have you not seen Dragon Ball Z? You should if you haven't. Big white flash of light. And then... The scene that brings us to full circle. Fair enough. I guess that's more important than a show, but you should go back to watch it. There's a lot of there's a lot of fun references that you'll be missing out on if you haven't seen that show. Like, really. Or at least watch Dragon Ball Z Abridged, although that one's pretty... You have to have a high tolerance for language. But it's it's really funny, though. Insanely funny. And it's a lot shorter. They take all of the drama out of DBZ and replace it with humor, which is what it should have been in the first place. Anyway... Like I said earlier, Final Fantasy VII, excellent game. Absolutely excellent. There were a few points that were like, you know, why and kind of weird and these controls are not the best, but like on the whole, yeah, the, the, this is, this is a great game. This is an absolutely fantastic game, especially for 1997. Like, the cutscenes were amazing. The music is phenomenal. This is some of the best music in any video game I've ever heard. Like, I'd say, if of all the video games I've ever played or heard of, if I had to rank, you know, what games would be top, you know, top five or top ten for music, I'd put Final Fantasy VII in the top five. There are only a couple of other games I can think of that have music as good as this. Like, consistently. There are lots of games that have, like, one or two tracks that are amazing, you know, standout tracks. But this game has almost every track is amazing. I would give this game probably a 9 to a 9.5. Like, this is almost a perfect game. I'd say. The writing in certain places could have used some work, but... It wasn't the worst thing. There were certain inconsistencies, for sure, but... They're fixing them in Remake, honestly. They're doing a good job. Of course, Remake is almost a separate story now. It's practically veered way, it's veered way off course, but... But yeah. Some minor holes in the writing, some weird mini-games here and there, some tiny bits here and there, but mostly the game's great. It's fantastic. 9 to 9.5, somewhere in there. Solid experience all the way around. You know, Facebook did that to me, Ricky. Facebook did that to me. Where it was like, I, it, they wanted a picture of me and it said, yeah, face not detected. Like, it, it just, it couldn't find it. And it's like, what? I gave you what you wanted. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty bad. And then I did some more research into Facebook and decided, nah. Nah. Just never going to have a Facebook account. It's kind of an evil company. Never lets go of your information. Um, yeah, see, Breath of the Wild's a good example. Breath of the Wild also has excellent music. The problem with Breath of the Wild is that the only thing you hear through 90% of your playthrough is just the overworld theme. It's just the, the Hyrule 
field theme, because that's where you spend most of your time. So you never get to hear the good stuff. Except in rare instances. So, unfortunately, that's one of those things, like, Breath of the Wild? I don't think I could ever give that game higher than a 9. Even though it should- even though it has- it has the potential to be a 10.0 perfect game, I can never give the game higher than a 9 because it has so many- it has so many issues. Even 8.5. I'd say this game is better than Breath of the Wild, honestly. By a small margin. No. Breath of the Wild loses half a point for stamina wheel, another half point for uh, rain, and even if I combine those two, also a bunch of quality of life improvements were, like... I can never forgive the story for not being finished until the, um, until the DLC. The two DLC packs for Breath of the Wild had story, had huge amounts of story in them. And I'm like, that's not what DLC is for. Like, if you look at Breath of the Wild without the DLC, it's an incomplete game. It's an incomplete game. The story isn't finished. There's tons of stuff that we can't do, like go underwater, despite the fact that multiple entries in the series prior to Breath of the Wild let us do that. The rain and the stamina wheel were both terrible. Like, there's so many, like, I, yeah, original Breath of the Wild without the DLC. Without the DLC, Breath of the Wild is like an eight. 8 to 8.5 at best. With the DLC, it's like 9. But this game... This game's 9 to 9.5. I would definitely say this game is better than Breath of the Wild. But only by a small amount. Breath of the Wild is still a fantastic game. Like, make no mistake. I am not saying Breath of the Wild was bad. But... Yeah. Breath of the Wild without its DLC is incomplete, and it's still partially incomplete, but at least it's better. Yeah, I was about to say, Ganon was a mini-game at the end. It was terrible. It's the worst final boss in Zelda, almost. Yeah, there's a ton of reasons why I can never, ever give Breath of the Wild a perfect score. Yeah, no, like, but the core game is still good, though. Like, the core of just exploring in Breath of the Wild, which is what the game's all about, is still good, which is why it's still such an excellent game, despite all those flaws. This game, this game though, is honestly far less frustrating. There are a couple moments when it's frustrating, but those moments pass quickly. Compared to Breath of the Wild, where you're constantly fighting against stamina and rain and... other things. I'm not going to go through the list again, but... Yeah, this game has a couple of frustrating moments, but they pass quickly enough. Excellent game overall. Okay, I have had a ton of fun with Final Fantasy VII. Both my blind playthrough and 100%. I have absolutely loved this. This entire experience has been wonderful. And this is the first Final Fantasy game I've ever played. Like... It was wonderful. But now it's over. And I'm glad that it's over. Because it was quite lengthy. Playing the blind playthrough and the 100% playthrough back-to-back -back because of my Switch malfunctioning was rough. But it's done now. Um, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Not necessarily. As good as this is, like, I think there's maybe, like, one or two other Final Fantasies that might be able to come close to this. I still think I I still look forward to someday playing Final Fantasy IX for sure. Um, but 
that's some other day. We're not coming back to Final Fantasy for quite some time. Um, I'm going to switch over to Age of Calamity probably for like 15, 30 minutes and then call it a night. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, if you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you.